Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Uh, I would like to talk about series. Introduction to series. Uh, well, obviously this lecture is a follow-up after I was talking about sequences and there are a couple of problems which I actually presented. So what is a series? Well, shortly, series is a sum of sequence. Usually, um, when we are considering a sequence, we have um, elements which can be actually described as the first, the second, the third, etc. This is element number k and maybe some others. So if it's a finite sequence, there is some kind of a uh, maximum order number. Uh, if it's an infinite sequence, then it's defined for all natural indices. These are indices 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Example, uh, uh, a sequence of all uh, odd numbers. Now, so series is a sum of a sequence. Usually, we are summing up together all the elements of the sequence beginning from the first one, which is A1, or in our example, that's the first odd number, which is 1, and ending uh, at some maximum number, which we are including into summation. So, for instance, a series which we can basically call as K is a sum of all elements of the base uh, sequence with indices from 1 to k. And that's why I use the index k here. Now, obviously, if the initial, the base sequence is um, finite and it has, let's say, n elements, then we can construct S1, S2, this is A1, this is A1 plus A2, etc. We can construct Sn, which is sum of all elements up to the maximum available number, and no more. Now, if it's an infinite sequence where there is no maximum number n, obviously we can construct series for any index k from 1 to basically to infinity. Well, let's concentrate on the example which I just presented. So let's say we have a sequence of all uh, odd numbers, and let's see what are the corresponding series will be. Well, S1 is obviously 1, which is only the first element. S2 is the sum of the first two elements, which is 4. Now, S3 is the sum of the first three elements, which is 9. S4, which is sum of the first four elements, is 16, etc. Well, just out of curiosity, I hope you um, notice that this is 1 square, this is 2 square, this is 3 square, this is 4 square, and um, my very intelligent guess is that SK, which is the sum of all first K odd elements, would be equal to K squared. Well, yes, this is not only very intelligent, but also a correct guess. And I'm going to prove it when I will talk about the details of summation and different uh, uh, series. This is just an example, and this example is just an illustration of what really a series in this particular case is. This is a series of the sequence of all odd numbers, which, by the way, is arithmetic progression, because it has a difference too. And that was my first example. My second example, uh, which I would like to present to you, is a very ancient one. There was a Greek philosopher by the name Zeno, and there is a famous Zeno's paradox, 
where he is logically proving that Achilles would never be able to catch the tortoise. So let's assume you have the road, this is your tortoise, and this is your Achilles, which is behind, and they are moving this direction. Now let's say initial distance between them is 100 meters. Now, let's consider the first interval of time during which Achilles will move 100 meters forward to basically be at the point where Tortoise started movement. Now, during that same time he has moved to this point, Tortoise will move a little bit farther, let's say by one meter forward. Obviously, Tortoise is a slow-moving uh, um, object, and Achilles is running very fast. He's a Greek hero, etc., etc. So by the time he moves by 100 meters, Tortoise moves only a meter. But what I would like to point out, that during this time, while he is moving to this point and, and Tortoise to this point, obviously, he didn't catch uh, Tortoise. All right, let's consider the next period of time the period of time during which Achilles moves from this point to the point where the tortoise was before. Now, he will move one extra meter, but she would also move tortoises, he or she, I don't know, I use she. So the tortoise would move some other smaller distance, obviously. Let's say it's one centimeters one centimeter. So by the time he moves one extra meter, she moves one extra centimeter. So he didn't catch it again. Now, obviously this process can be repeated infinite number of steps. So it looks like during all these infinite number of steps, Achilles would not catch uh, the turtles. Well, obviously we all know that <laughs> he would sooner or later. Uh, so, how is this logic actually working? I mean, what's the contradiction in this particular logic? Well, also when I will talk about geometric progression and the series of the geometric progression, um, I will explain the details of this calculation and I will explain during which period of time or during what distance Achilles will not be able to catch, and then after that he would. So basically, I would defeat this particular paradox, I will explain what's wrong with this, and logically prove what exactly is the right, the right state of affairs in this particular case. But what's interesting is that this is um, a perfect example of summation of geometric progression, and I'll explain you why. So, this is just a couple of examples. One is the sum of odd numbers, sum of arithmetic progression, and sum of geometric progression derived from paradox um, described by Greek philosopher Zeno. And the last thing which I wanted to talk about is basically some kind of um, symbology which is used in mathematics when dealing with sequences and, and series. Usually, To, explain, to, to, to express that the particular, okay, so let's say we have a particular sequence where AK is a generalized um, uh, element of this sequence. For instance, if I'm talking about um, all odd numbers, then generalized odd number will be this. For K is equal to 1, it's 1, for k is equal to 2, it's 3, for k equals 3, it's 5, etc., etc. Now, if I want to, um, to symbolically explain that I'm summing up all the elements from a1 to an, I will use a Greek uh, letter, uppercase letter sigma, and I will put the general member, general element of this particular sequence near it. And the only thing which I would like to uh, specify here, how exactly I'm summing up, what exactly are 
the elements which I am uh, summing. Uh, so this particular index should be uh, changed from uh, the value 1 to n, because I'm summing up all elements from 1 to n. So that's basically, this is exactly the same as this. And obviously, you can use different indices. You can put a i, i from 1 to n, or whatever else. I mean, this is not important. Letters are whatever you choose, but what's important is to use the uppercase Greek letter sigma um, and specify the limits. Now, in many cases, by the way, when we're talking about summing um, a, a, a sequence, arithmetic progression, or geometric progression, or anything else, we might do a little bit shorter. We might do this. If there is no confusion, what's the index, then basically you don't have to specify it here. Um, if we are talking about sequence, uh, usually we are starting from the sequence uh, element number one. So if we are starting from one, then only difference basically is what's the maximum um, number which we are summing up. But anyway, these are just symbols. Uh, I, what I wanted to point out is the usage of the uh, sigma sign for summation. All right, so this is a very short introductory um, lecture about what actually series is all about. Um, I will spend more time explaining uh, what kind of uh, uh, rules of summation of arithmetic progression or geometric progression or whatever else, and I will present a certain number of problems, but that's for the future lecture. This is just an introduction. Um, don't forget to, after you listen to all the theory, try to solve the problems yourself first, and only then listen to the lecture, which presents some solutions to these problems. And after the lecture, try to do it again yourself, just to, you know, to be more or less, to inculcate it in your brain. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much for this particular lecture. And uh, let's hope the new ones will be more interesting and longer. <laughs>